Hello everybody, here I am ready to do this tutorial a lot of people ask for. I usually don't do tutorials with voiceovers, but I just thought it'd be way easier to explain this with a voiceover instead of just typing everything, which would be a pain. But before we start, there's something I need to let you guys know about, which is that these are the steps to do this out cool outline thing in Clip Studio Paint EX. Clip Studio Paint is a very different program from everything I've have from everything I have ever used before. So if you have a different program, it's a, it's probably going to be a completely different way to do this. So yeah, keep that in mind. Clip Studio is a paid app, so yeah. Let's let's just get on with this. So here we have my scroll fly drawing. That will be the drawing I will be using to do this tutorial. Some of you might recognize it if you check my community posts. So we're gonna add a new folder and that's gonna and I'm gonna label it entire thing because that's gonna hold everything about this drawing. The liner and the color. Don't put the background in there. I don't I didn't put the sketch in because my sketch folder is turned off. So after you put everything in there, you're going to add a new layer. That layer is outside of the entire thing folder. I'm going to label it border because it's going to be the border thing. So now click on your entire thing folder, go to your magic wand. Usually I have my wand set to refer to all layers, but we're going to need to put it on refer to editing layer only. So we're going to select the background and click that nifty button right there. And then we're going to click on their border and then edit and outline selection. I have my outline selection set to 15, but you can edit that however you want. But as you can see, it, it is black because I had black over there as my color. So I'm adding a new layer and I'm naming it, um, I'm na naming it new color and I'm gonna set it to a clipping mask. Now I get the color I want it to be, I chose white and now I just paint bucket that. Now I'm gonna merge these two layers and I'm gonna, I'm taking this this layer down so it's right on top of my background. So, so now that that is settled, I make all my backgrounds put into just one folder. All the elements of my backgrounds are in one folder and I'm naming a background so I don't forget. So now I'm back to my border layer and I set it to overlay so that it does this cool Pokemon card shiny thing. So yeah, that's how you do it. But you might notice this gap on her leg and one thing you could do is just color it in. But if you don't want it to look like that, you could just go to the entire thing folder Redo the steps, edit, it's not showing up. Oh, forgot to go back to our border layer. Can't forget that, that's a very important step. Now click outline selection, set to 15, okay, and that's it. Oh, for some reason it also did the edges of the paper. I have no idea how it did that, but I like it. If you wanted to, you could erase it, but I'm happy with how it looks like this. Yeah, so that is it. It's pretty easy and it's really helpful. Makes a really good final touch to your drawings. So, so yeah, I hope this helped. I'll see you guys next time.